In a galaxy far away, there lived an alien girl named Nova. She was unlike anyone you could ever imagine. Her skin shimmered like stars, and her eyes sparkled with the colors of the cosmos. But despite her otherworldly beauty, Nova had a dream she wanted to become a mother. On her planet, that dream was impossible. The alien race she belonged to had no reproductive system, and she felt a deep longing in her heart that she couldn't ignore. Determined to fulfill her dream, Nova decided to travel to Earth, a place she had only heard about in legends. It was said to be filled with vibrant life and extraordinary beings. After months of navigating through the galaxies, she finally arrived on Earth, landing in a secluded forest under the light of a full moon. As she stepped out of her spaceship, her heart raced with excitement. She had heard about a brilliant scientist named Dr. Max Reynolds, known for his groundbreaking work in genetics and reproductive biology. If anyone could help her, it was him. With determination, she set off to find him. Meanwhile, Dr. Max Reynolds was deep in his research at a high-tech laboratory. He was a man driven by curiosity and passion for science, often spending long hours alone. His work was celebrated, but he felt a void in his life, a missing piece he couldn't quite identify. When Nova finally reached Dr. Reynolds' lab, she felt both nervous and hopeful. She approached the entrance and, with a deep breath, pressed the intercom button. Hello came Dr. Reynolds' voice, sounding both surprised and intrigued. I am Nova, she said, her voice melodic and soothing. I come from a distant planet. I need your help, Dr. Reynolds, astonished to see an alien in front of him, quickly opened the door. You're real, he stammered, his eyes wide with disbelief. What brings you to Earth, Nova explained her situation, her voice filled with longing. I want to be a mother, but my kind cannot bear children. I heard you could help me. Dr. Reynolds' scientific mind raced with possibilities. You want to become human, yes, Nova replied earnestly. I'm willing to do whatever it takes as the days turned into weeks. Dr. Reynolds and Nova worked closely together in the lab. They shared knowledge, laughed over silly misunderstandings about Earth culture, and discovered a growing bond between them. Nova found joy in the little things feeling the warmth of the sun, tasting sweet fruits, and learning to dance to Earth music. And Max couldn't help but be captivated by her spirit and determination. But one evening, while they were working late, Nova felt a strange sensation in her chest. It was an unfamiliar feeling vulnerability mixed with an unexpected surge of emotions. She turned to Max, her eyes wide. I feel different. Is this part of the process? Max paused, his heart racing. It could be. The integration might be affecting you more than we anticipated. As they continued to work, something extraordinary began to happen. Nova started to experience human emotions, joy, sadness, and even love. It was exhilarating and terrifying all at, all at once. But just when things seemed to be going smoothly, a shocking twist emerged. One night, Nova overheard a conversation between Max and his assistant, Jenna. They discussed the potential risks of the procedure, including the possibility that the transformation could lead to Nova losing her alien abilities forever. Heart pounding, Nova realized the truth she could lose her identity as an alien and never return home. Would she be willing to give up everything for the chance to become human and fulfill her dream of motherhood? In that moment, she had a choice to make. Should she continue the transformation and embrace this new life with Max, or should she return to her planet, forever dreaming of a life she could never have? The weight of her decision hung heavy in the air as she looked into Max's concerned eyes, knowing their bond had deepened beyond friendship. It was a romance blossoming amidst the chaos of science and identity, but would it be enough to guide her choice? As the sun rose over the laboratory, Nova felt a mixture of excitement and anxiety. She had made the choice to stay on Earth, but the journey ahead was filled with uncertainty. She wanted to become human, but what if she couldn't bear children, even after the transformation? Dr. Max Reynolds was her only hope. Max had dedicated his life to understanding human biology, and now he was teaching Nova everything he knew about the reproductive system. Okay, Nova, let's start with the basics, he said, gesturing to a complex diagram on the screen. This is how a human female reproductive system works. It's quite different from what you might be used to. As he explained the anatomy and functions, Nova listened intently, absorbing every detail. Max's passion for science was contagious, and she found herself hanging onto his every word. But deep inside, she felt a gnawing fear. What if she could never truly be human? 
What if she couldn't become a mother, no matter how much she wanted it? Max, she asked, her voice trembling slightly. If I become human, will I be able to get pregnant? He paused, looking into her shimmering eyes. It's complicated. The integration process will allow you to have a human body, but we can't guarantee that you'll be able to conceive. Your alien DNA has different properties. It might not work the same way. Nova's heart sank. She had come so far, risking everything for this dream, and now it felt like slipping through her fingers. But she also felt something else growing a deep connection with Max that she couldn't ignore. As they worked together, they laughed, shared stories, and even had playful debates about Earth culture versus her alien experiences. One night, as they labored late into the evening, something changed. Max leaned closer, their eyes locking in a moment that felt electric. You've brought so much light into my life, Nova, he confessed, his voice low and serious. I never expected to feel this way about someone, especially not an alien before she could respond. He gently brushed a strand of hair behind her ear. The touch sent shivers down her spine, awakening feelings she had never anticipated. I don't know how to handle these emotions, but I know I care for you deeply, he admitted. Nova's heart raced. I feel it too, Max. I've never felt this way about anyone before, but just as their faces inched closer, the lab's intercom crackled to life, breaking the moment. Dr. Reynolds, we need you in the main lab immediately, Jenna, his assistant called. Max sighed, pulling away reluctantly. I have to go. We'll continue this tomorrow. Of course, Nova said, her heart still fluttering. But as he walked away, she couldn't shake the feeling that their moment was interrupted for a reason. The following weeks were a whirlwind of experiments and emotional turmoil, Nova learned about human biology, but the weight of her dream continued to loom over her. They grew closer, sharing intimate moments that left her yearning for more, but they both held back, uncertain of what the future would hold. One day, as they were running tests, Max handed Nova a vial of serum. This is a hormonal treatment we can try to stimulate your reproductive system, he explained. It might help trigger a response in your body, but it could also have unpredictable effects. Nova hesitated, but her desire to become a mother pushed her forward. I'm willing to try, she declared, determination etched on her face. Days turned into weeks as they continued the treatment. Nova felt changes happening within her, but not the one she had hoped for. Instead of feeling closer to motherhood, she experienced heightened emotions, joy, sadness, and frustration, everything intensified. During this time, their bond deepened even further. Late-night conversations turned into shared laughter and accidental touches that lingered just a moment too long, but the shadow of Nova's dream hung over them like a cloud. One evening, in a moment of vulnerability, she confessed her fears to Max. I'm scared, she said, tears glistening in her eyes. What if I can never be a mother? What if this transformation changes me too much? Max's heart ached for her. Nova, no matter what happens, you are incredible, just as you are. You have a strength that transcends your physical form. I care about you no matter what. In that moment, the wall between them shattered, and they shared their first kiss a soft, tentative exploration that ignited a fire between them. As they pulled away, breathless, Max whispered, I want to be with you, Nova. But I can't bear to see you lose yourself in this process. Nova nodded, understanding his concern. But deep down, she was torn. The love she felt for Max was undeniable, but her dream of motherhood lingered like a distant star, always just out of reach. The next day, as they prepared for another round of experiments, a shocking twist awaited them. Nova received a distress signal from her home planet, a message from her family. They needed her to return, stating that a cosmic storm was brewing, threatening their entire existence. Faced with this unexpected dilemma, Nova realized she was at a crossroads. Should she abandon her dream of motherhood, and the growing love with Max to return home and protect her planet, or should she stay on Earth, risking everything for a future that seemed uncertain? As she looked into Max's eyes, filled with worry and concern, she knew whatever choice she made would change everything for both of them. Nova's heart raced as she processed the message from her home planet. The urgency in her family's voice tugged at her, but so did the warmth she felt with Max. As she looked at him, standing there with concern etched on his face, she knew a decision had to be made. Max, she said, her voice trembling. I just got a message from my planet. They need me to come home. There's a storm coming, and it could destroy everything. 
Max, she said softly. I need time to think he nodded, giving her the space she needed. As Nova wandered through the lab, her mind raced. She reflected on everything she had experienced since arriving on Earth, the laughter, the kisses, the way Max had opened her heart to love. But could she abandon all of that for a planet that had long been her home? That night, Nova lay in her makeshift bed in the lab, staring at the ceiling. She thought of her family, her childhood, and her dreams of motherhood. And then she thought of Max, his kindness, and how he had changed her life in ways she never thought possible. Just then, there was a soft knock on the door. It was Max, holding two mugs of steaming tea. I thought you might need this, he said, a small smile on his face. Thank you, she replied, accepting the mug and feeling the warmth radiate through her hands. I've been thinking about everything. Me too, Max said, sitting beside her. I can't imagine what you're going through, but I want you to know that no matter what you choose, I'm here for you as they talked. They shared their hopes and fears. Max spoke of his dreams to push the boundaries of science, and Nova shared her desire for a family. Their hands brushed together, igniting a spark between them. Nova. Max said, his voice lowering to a whisper. What if we found a way for you to stay here? We could work together to protect your planet from this storm while still building a life together, Nova's heart soared at the thought. Do you really believe we could do that I do, he replied, his eyes shining with determination. We can create a new kind of technology that could help your planet from here, but we need time and resources. Then let's do it, Nova said, her spirit rekindled. Let's find a way to save my home and our future. Me too, Max said, sitting beside her. I can't imagine what you're going through, but I want you to know that no matter what you choose, I'm here for you as they talked, they shared their hopes and fears. Max spoke of his dreams to push the boundaries of science, and Nova shared her desire for a family. Their hands brushed together, igniting a spark between them. Nova, Max said, his voice lowering to a whisper. What if we found a way for you to stay here? We could work together to protect your planet from this storm while still building a life together Nova's heart soared at the thought. Do you really believe we could do that I do, he replied, his eyes shining with determination. We can create a new kind of technology that could help your planet from here. But we need time and resources. Then let's do it, Nova said, her spirit rekindled. Let's find a way to save my home and our future. With renewed purpose, they spent days in the lab, working tirelessly on a plan to communicate with Nova's planet. They created a device that would allow Nova to send a warning about the impending storm, using Max's knowledge of technology and Nova's alien instincts. As they worked, their bond grew stronger. They shared passionate kisses, laughter, and stolen glances filled with longing. Max was no longer just her scientist, he was her partner, her confidant, and her heart. Finally, the day arrived when they were ready to send the message. Nova's hands trembled with anticipation as she activated the device. I hope this works, she said, her heart racing. It will, Max assured her, standing close beside her. I believe in you, Nova, as the device hummed to life. A holographic image of her home planet appeared before them. Nova took a deep breath, sending her warning into the universe. Please listen. A storm is coming, and you must prepare. Tears streamed down her face as she watched the image flicker. I hope they hear me, she whispered. Max wrapped his arms around her, offering comfort and strength. They will. You have the power to change things, Nova. You always have. As the message faded, Nova felt a surge of relief wash over her. She turned to Max, her heart pounding. Thank you for believing in me, for being here. I couldn't have done this without you, Max smiled, his eyes sparkling with admiration. You did this, Nova. You're the brave one in that moment, surrounded by the hum of technology and the weight of their dreams. They kissed again this time with the promise of a shared future. But even as they embraced, the storm loomed closer, and Nova knew the challenges ahead were far from over. The days flew by as Nova and Max worked tirelessly to prepare for the impending storm threatening her home planet. The bond between them deepened with each shared moment, and they became an unstoppable team. But the pressure of their mission weighed heavily on Nova's heart. One evening, as they were finalizing their plans in the lab, Nova felt a sense of unease wash over her. Max, what if the storm is worse than we think? What if we can't help them in time? Max looked at her, concern etched on his face. We've done everything we can. Now it's up to your people to act. 
They need to understand the gravity of the situation. Do you really believe they will? She asked, her voice barely above a whisper. I have faith in you, Nova. You're a force to be reckoned with, he replied, reaching out to squeeze her hand. The touch sent a shiver down her spine, reminding her of the bond they shared. Just then the lab's alarm blared, startling them both. What's happening, Nova exclaimed, her heart racing. Max rushed to his computer. It looks like a massive energy surge is coming from your planet. The storm has started. Panic surged through Nova. We need to send another message. They need to know it's already begun. They quickly set to work, frantically typing commands into the computer. I'll try to amplify the signal, Max said, sweat beading on his forehead as he worked. As Nova focused on the connection with her planet, she felt a sudden jolt of energy flow through her. It was as if the universe itself was pushing her forward. Come on, please work, she pleaded, her heart pounding in her chest. Finally, the screen flickered, and her home planet's image appeared again. This is Nova. The storm has started. You must evacuate immediately, she shouted, her voice filled with urgency. Max's fingers flew across the keyboard, ensuring the message would reach as many people as possible. Just as they were about to send it, the image on the screen began to distort, flickering wildly. What's happening? Nova gasped. Something's interfering with the signal, Max shouted, his eyes wide with determination. I need to stabilize the connection. Nova felt a surge of fear, but also a deep resolve. We can do this, Max, together. As Max worked furiously, Nova closed her eyes and concentrated, reaching out with her alien instincts. She could feel the connection to her planet strengthening as she poured all her energy into it. The screen steadied, and the image of her home planet became clear again. Please listen. You must act now, she urged, desperation colouring her voice. At that moment, something incredible happened. Nova felt a wave of energy wash over her, and she realised she could tap into the storm's power. It was risky, but if she could harness it, they might be able to save her people. Max, I think I can control the energy from the storm, she exclaimed, excitement and fear mingling in her voice. He turned to her, eyes wide. Are you sure? That's dangerous, I have to try, Nova declared, determination blazing within her. As Max nodded, she concentrated, her heart racing as she summoned the energy. She felt the storm's chaotic power swirl around her, and for a moment it was overwhelming, but she focused on her love for her ho home and her desire to protect her family. Suddenly she opened her eyes, and an incredible light filled the lab. The energy pulsed around her, creating a protective barrier. I can do this, she shouted, feeling the connection strengthen. With Max by her side, they unleashed the combined energy, sending a powerful signal to her planet. The screen flickered again, showing people gathering as they received her urgent warning. It's working. Nova cried, her heart swelling with hope. But just as she felt a sense of victory, a crackling sound erupted from the lab. The equipment began to spark and alarms blared louder than ever. Max, what's happening? Nova yelled, panic rising. The energy is too much for the systems, he shouted, trying to stabilize the chaos. We need to shut it down before it explodes. No, we can't stop now, Nova protested, feeling the energy coursing through her veins. We're so close, Max grabbed her shoulders, his eyes filled with urgency. If we don't shut it down, we could destroy everything in that moment. Nova felt a wave of clarity. She knew she had to make a choice protect her dreams and the love she had found with Max or save her planet and everyone she cared for. With tears in her eyes, she whispered, you're right. I can't let this energy harm anyone. Max pulled her into a tight embrace and Nova felt the warmth of his love enveloping her. You're so brave, Nova, he said softly, his voice breaking. I'm proud of you as they worked together to shut down the energy flow, Nova felt a bittersweet ache in her heart. She was giving up the chance to become human and to be with Max, but she knew it was the right choice. Once the equipment was finally stabilized, Nova and Max collapsed to the floor, exhausted but relieved. The image of her home planet flickered one last time, showing her family safe and preparing for the storm. I did it, she breathed, her heart swelling with pride. I saved them, Max looked at her, admiration shining in his eyes. You did. You're incredible, Nova just then, Nova realized something. Even though she had chosen her planet, her love for Max didn't fade. Max, she said softly, taking his hand, no matter where I go, I'll always carry you in my heart.
You've shown me what love really is. He smiled, his eyes glistening. And you've shown me that true strength comes from the heart. You'll always have a place here with me in that moment. They shared a lingering kiss, filled with all the emotions they couldn't express in words. As they pulled away, they both knew that their journey was far from over, but the connection they had forged would always be unbreakable. Days turned into weeks, and Nova stayed in contact with her planet, receiving updates about how they were coping with the storm. She felt proud, but the ache in her heart for Max never faded. He had changed her life in ways she couldn't express, and she realized she didn't want to lose him. One evening she found herself in the lab, looking at a photo of them together a snapshot of a moment filled with laughter and warmth. She felt a sudden determination. I can have both. Nova decided to go back to her home planet, but not to stay forever just long enough to help them rebuild and then return to Max. With renewed purpose, Nova contacted her family. I'm coming home for a while, she told them. But I'll be back, don't forget us, her mother replied, her voice filled with love. We need you here. I won't forget Nova promised. I'll always be with you as she prepared to leave. She realized she needed to tell Max her plans. That night, she found him in the lab, his face lit by the glow of the screens. Max, she said, taking a deep breath. I'm going back home for a bit to help my people recover. He looked up, surprise crossing his features. You are. I'll only be gone for a short time, she reassured him. I need to help them. But I promise I'll return, Max's expression softened. I understand. You have to do what's right for your home. Will you wait for me, she asked, her heart racing. Always, he replied, stepping closer. I'll be here, counting the days until you come back. They shared one last kiss, filled with longing and promise, as Nova prepared to leave. She knew this wasn't goodbye forever. It was a new beginning, a chance to embrace her alien roots and return to the love she had found on Earth. Months later, as the last of the repairs were completed, Nova stood on a hill overlooking her planet. With a mix of nostalgia and hope, she sent a message to Max. I'm coming back soon. Prepare for my return. Back on Earth, Max received her message and felt a wave of joy. He had been working on a project to help bridge their two worlds, combining his scientific knowledge with her alien abilities. He envisioned a future where they could visit each other's planets. Finally, the day came when Nova stood at the entrance of the lab again, her heart racing with excitement. When Max saw her, his face lit up with happiness. You're back, yes, she exclaimed, running into his arms. And I brought ideas for our next project in that moment. Nova realized that she didn't need to choose between her planet and her heart, she could have both.